Arr, hello, fish heads. I know it's been a while. We're going to give you a little update here on the cray crays. These are my Everglades crayfish. Procumbens Allen Eye. And we've got babies in there. We've got uh, three females and a male. This is the male here. Let's see if we can find some babies here somewhere. Maybe. Let's take a look. Give me a second. Alright, so there's one right there, just behind that black marble. There he goes. Those ones there are just a couple days old. I got some other ones in there that are about three weeks old. They're a little bit bigger. Kind of hard to find these little guys. They're really good at hiding. Another one there. So, I got one female that's got the baby still going back to her right now. The ones that are about three weeks old. The mother has scooted them away. They're on their own in there now. And I have another one in there that's in the cave in the back that's buried and they haven't hatched out yet. She's got close to them. There's one of the bigger ones right there. Kind of hard to see them. But she's way in the back in that very dark cave that uh, you can't see whatsoever. <laughs> Alright, but anyways, just figured I'd give you guys a little update. Just uh, what's going on in my world, where I've been, what I've been up to. Doing a lot with my reptiles lately. Getting back into the breeding aspect of it. It's that time of the year, putting things into hibernation, getting them going. And of course, in the middle of it all, the crayfish are already breeding. It's that time of the year for them. There's the big boy. Arr, scary. Big, scary boy. A lot of people say you can't keep these guys together. I have had no problem with it. actually a molt off of the mom that uh, separated from her babies there about three weeks ago. Oh, <laughs> there's a baby swimming around there. Right. Trying to get some better pictures as time goes on here, maybe some better videos. Some in there, let's see if I can focus on them, come on. Yeah, they're all out of focus, but there we go, there we go. Alright. So these are the ones that are just a few days old here. I wish I could show you one of those bigger ones. They're at least twice to three times the size of these ones. They've already molted out a couple times, so they're quite a bit bigger. Anyway, that's what we got going on. And until next time. Arr! Later, fishheads!